When working with walls in Revit, there are constraints that control the properties of a wall. The two main constraints to understand are base constraint and top constraint. By default, Revit will set the base constraint to the level on which the walls are drawn, where the top constraint will usually be left as unconnected. These constraints can be changed, and knowing how to apply these constraints is a fundamental skill when working with Revit. Let's open the 1.1.b wall constraints start file to see the existing walls for the mountain cabin design. We will modify the four walls that have been placed on level one. In the project browser, open the east elevation view and notice the settings of the levels. Select the east wall and in the properties palette, notice how the base constraint is set to level one and the top constraint is set to unconnected with a height of 20 feet. Select the cell next to base constraint, select level two and select apply. Notice how the bottom of the wall is moved to level two while the wall height is still 20 feet. Change the base constraint back to level one. Select the cell next to top constraint, select level two and select apply. Notice the wall height is now constrained to level two. Change the height of level 2 to 12 feet by double clicking on the 9 foot measurement, typing 12, and selecting the enter key on the keyboard. Notice how the wall height changes and stays constrained to level 2. Change the top constraint back to unconnected and change level 2 back to 9 feet. Change the unconnected height to 9 feet and then set the top constraint to level 2. From the quick access toolbar, select default 3D view. While holding down the control key on the keyboard, select the remaining three walls, change the top constraint for the selected walls to level 2, and select apply. The height of all the walls is now the same and aligns with the levels displayed in the 3D view. Adjust the interior walls of the cabin using the same methods. From the application menu, select Save As and name your file 1.1.b Wall Constraints Completed. You have just completed applying wall constraints for the mountain cabin in Revit. These constraints can help establish wall properties for consistency. If any design edits are made, the designer won't have to individually change wall properties later, resulting in tedious, time-consuming tasks.